All right, let's talk about something a little bit easier than the hybridization theory. We're still in the hybridization theory, all right? But we're gonna apply now, all right? Uh, mentioned at the beginning of the, we talk about the hybridization theory that the offsprings uh, possess a characteristic of the parents, right? Like Pegasus look like half horse, half bird, uh, Griffin half um, eagle, half lions. Me half Chris Pye, half Bradley Cooper. I'm sure you know that, <laughs> right? So, and uh, the offspring, the hybrid looks similar to the parent okay so here's the parent when we mix orbital together and you saw earlier right so uh s and p orbital now here's uh, some characteristic of the s and p orbital s look like spherical right um look short and fat that's the characteristic of uh, an s orbital now for p orbital p orbital is long and thin okay let's say if i make s orbital and p orbital half and half of course i'm going to get an sp orbital this sp gonna work SP orbital are gonna be gonna look somewhat look like half S orbital and half P orbital. So I'm gonna call it chubby. Okay. If you cal do some calculations, so it's 50% S or 50% 50% P basically. All right. So my point is, uh, the offspring will look similar to the parent, right? Short and fat, long and thin. The offspring is chubby in the middle, somewhere in between. Now, if I mixed one S orbital and two P orbitals. What's the offspring look like? Yeah, the offspring name gonna be SP2, of course, but what do they look like though? Do they look more more, more like S or more like P? Yeah, of course, of course it's gonna be more like P, okay? If you do the math, that's gonna be 33% S, so 67% P. So compared to the SP orbital, and SP2 orbital is longer, okay? Look a little bit more like P. Does it make sense? One more time, if you don't really, you don't really get what I mentioned, so when I say it, one more time, if I make one S orbital and three P orbitals, what, what does the offspring look like? Do they look more like S or look more like P? Even more toward P because we have more P there, all right? If you do the math there, that's about 25%, that's exactly 25% S, right? And 75% P. When you compare the length, of sp3 orbital to the rest sp and sp2 the sp3 gonna be the longest and the the the, the thin the, what's the word the thinnest all right sp orbital compared to sp2 and sp3 gonna be the shortest and the uh the, and the biggest the fattest that's make sense okay all right here's and uh, so i'm i'm showing here as a relative distance from the nucleus so the nucleus in the middle in the origin here all right and sp3 orbitals uh, expand the farthest, furthest away compared to sp2 and sp orbital. And that's the reason why, take a look at the uh, bond uh, length first, okay? So <clears throat> the bond length of carbon right here, carbon car, car, uh, carbon, carbon bond is tri triple bond, so sp uh, hybridized carbon is only 1.20 angstrom. In an sp2, it's a bit longer, 1.34. And in the sp3 orbital, it's the longest, 1.54. All right. And look at, go back to an sp orbital. An sp orbital, um, the electron and the nucleus are really close because it's short. That is really short. When the nuclear, uh, the proton in nucleus and the electron really close, they bind together. They attract each other tightly, right? The most tightest. Um, the bond energy is high, really the highest there, 820 kilojoule per mole. And the longest one, the nucle the proton in the nucleus and the electron are further away, so it's not, it do they don't attract as strong. So the bond energy is lower, 368 kilojoule per mole. Okay. All right. Let's apply to a question here. Rank the, uh, this bond in terms of increasing bond length, who's the, who's the long, who's the longest? No, no, increasing bond length. Who's the shortest? To, yeah, shortest to longest. All right, who's the shortest there? C, the shortest. So SP hybrid, hybridized, right? And followed by SP2 and followed by SP, uh, SP3, uh, hybridized carbon. So we go, uh, increasing bond length. Oh, I didn't do increasing bond length. So anyway, so you know, this is the longest one, right? It's like a longest and C, triple, triple bond, C, SP, Orb, uh, SP orbital, the shortest. All right. Okay. <clears throat>